day here in Freshwater, California. We're gonna go ahead and turn these beds into living soil beds that are gonna produce a bunch of healthy crops and beautiful flowers. So what I did the other day was built the beds up and took the soil that was just in the around them and filled the beds in with that soil. So you can see there's a bunch of clods that have uh, grass in them. So that was just from me turning over the soil that was on the ground. And you can see that soil was really good potting soil. There's a little bit of perlite in there. It, it shovels very nicely. All this grass can be broken up pretty easily, but what we need to do is get this grass to decompose and we want to do it quickly so we can plant into these beds quickly. In order to do that, we're going to add a few different biologically active ingredients, things like compost, worm castings, bokashi, and biochar. LiveCube is our compost blend that is going to introduce all the microbes in, or more microbes into the soil situation so that those microbes can go to work on decomposing this grass. One yard of compost or compost-like material can cover 1,000 square feet at one third of an inch. And if you turn that over into the top six inches of soil, that constitutes a 5% addition of compost to your soil. A general rule of thumb is one cubic foot, put it over 100 square feet. This is my four by 20 bed, 80 square feet. I'm just gonna put this bag over the entire bed and just um, be kind of liberal as how I spread it out and then it will get kind of chopped into the situation with the shovel. Okay, yeah, so next thing we're gonna put down to the bed is biochar. Biochar does a bunch of really good stuff for us. It holds onto water, it holds onto nutrients, and it supports good microbial life. You're probably asking what in the world is biochar. Basically, it is organic material that has been cooked in a zero oxygen or close to a zero oxygen condition. That causes the carbon in the organic matter to crystallize, you could say, and form what is similar to charcoal, but different than charcoal in that you can't keep on cooking biochar and use it as a charcoal like you would for a grill. Um, it's just more stable. It doesn't have that combustibility to it. There's a lot of science behind that. Um, and feel free to Google Scholar search it because biochar is really cool stuff with a lot of really neat research. This is low ash biochar. You can tell by how relatively clean my hands are when I deal with it. How much biochar do you put down? Oh, that 5% addition is a good number. Entry level number would be like 2%. The 5% is about a yard of biochar over a thousand square feet. This is getting one cubic foot over 80 square feet. Next we got triple cast, worm castings, insect frass. Insect frass is insect poop. So worm castings are kind of like worm poop. So they're really similar. They're gonna have a bunch of good nutrition and a bunch of good biology. About 98% pure castings and then frass that comes from mealworms. That is very easy and safe for the plants to be able to uptake macro and micronutrients. We're just gonna do the same about a cubic foot per 100 square feet. So this is a cubic feet over cubic foot over 80 square foot. Okay, the last thing we're gonna put down is bokashi. Bokashi introduces several beneficial things. One of them is nutrition. It's got a 322 NPK. It's gonna introduce lactobacillus bacteria. These bacteria thrive in low oxygen conditions. So if you ever overwater your soil or if you have compaction and aren't able to get air and water infiltration, you're gonna have a bunch of beneficial microbes in there instead of having uh, potentially um, disease promoting microbes flourish in those conditions. It's kind of like stacking the deck in your favor. They call it the principle of competitive exclusion. These microbes are going to exclude the uh, bad microbes through uh, competition. And these, these guys are gonna outcompete because there's more of them. Lactobacillus microbes also produce lactic acid. 
lactic acid is a chelator, so it will hold on to nutrients and keep them available for plants. Lactic acid will help to also degrade organic matter, freeing up nutrients and then holding on to them so for plants to be made available. Holding on to the nutrients so that they're made. You guys get what I'm saying. The last thing is that the bran in the Bokashi promotes the growth of actinomycete bacteria. Those are the white fuzzy bacteria that you see in soil after you put in this Bokashi. And if you were to break that soil up and smell it, it has that nice sweet earthy smell. It's the geosmin smell. That's the chemical, geosmin. So we put Bokashi in for nutrition, for the lactobacillus and lactic acid that they're producing, and lastly, to promote the growth of these beneficial actinomycetes. Why is this stuff in a bucket? It's because we need to keep it low oxygen conditions so the fermentation process can occur by the lactobacillus bacteria. If we were to ferment it, or if we were to leave this exposed to oxygen, other groups of microbes would grow and basically you would get a that's really gross it smells really bad that's what happens The next thing we're gonna do is just try to turn over this and chop it up a little bit. So we can kind of uh, chop the grass that needs to decompose into the compost and bokashi, get it all mixed up together so the decomposition process can occur. The next thing we're gonna do is just rake it out real quick. Next, we're gonna wet it down a little bit. The moisture is just gonna help those microbes get to work. The last thing that we're gonna do for this is lay down black plastic. That's gonna warm up the soil, causing the weed seeds to germinate, but no sunlight will get through, so they'll just die off. So it's our way of getting rid of some of the weed seed bank that is left in this soil. You've heard of people using clear plastic in a process called solarization. Clear plastic will heat the soil up to the point where you can kill off some of the weed seeds, you can kill off some of the pathogenic fungi and bacteria that could be in the soil. It's a way to sterilize soil. The, the clear plastic allows the sun to actually get through and the solar rays to hit the soil and heat up the soil directly and then the clear plastic atop, it makes that heat not to be able to escape. So it really traps a lot of heat under the ground. When you put black plastic down, it really only heats up the air space between the plastic and the soil. So you're not heating up the, plastic, the soil as much as you might think put, putting black down. So it's better to use the black to get rid of seed bank and use the clear plastic to solarize your soil if you need to sterilize it in order to get rid of potential pathogens from the previous years. We are just about done with prepping this bed. We got a bunch of compost castings, Bokashi and biochar in there to help break down the organic matter. We uh, chopped it all up so it's all now nicely incorporated relatively evenly through. We raked it out. Then we uh, sprayed it real quick to get a little bit of moisture on there to get those microbes activated. And then we put down black plastic in order to keep that moisture, keep warm it up, get the seeds to germinate. Um, basically let all the microbes do their magic. We're gonna let this sit about two weeks. We'll uncover it, chop it, rake it through, and plant right into it.